Well, both candidates are locked in a war of words. Just 250 votes separates Joe Gannon from John Gomes. John Gomes was in the lead until the absentee ballots were counted. Down but not out, John Gomes vows to fight on to November. I will be running on November 7th. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll be on the independent line. We sat down with the Gomes campaign at his headquarters in Bridgeport. He's accusing the Ganim campaign of illegally soliciting absentee ballot applications. At the end of the night here, our numbers were about almost 500 votes ahead. And if you look at the total application that were mailed out, we were concerned with that from the beginning. We communicated with the Secretary of the State. We said 4,000 AB applications are in the streets. That's unheard of. Specifically, Gomes accuses the Ganim campaign of targeting seniors and low income voters and working with public housing managers to deny them access to elderly and affordable living complexes. Fox 61 took the accusation to Ganim. Well, it's Gomes or Trump when you hear that kind of stuff. I, I don't know. I'm sure they certified results today. If he has issues with them, I'm sure there's a process that he could take a look at. But it's a little bit of sour grapes at this point. Um, we've seen this. We've seen this movie before. But just you know, disgruntled uh, losers, frankly. Another one who's seen this movie before. It's history repeating itself and deja vu. State Senator Marilyn Moore knows a little something about Bridgeport. She narrowly lost to Ganim in 2019. Also on the absentee ballot count, a criminal investigation still pending into three of Ganim's aides related to those results. They know that there are people who have uh, broken the law or are suspected of breaking the law with ballots and that it's posted that there's going to be a criminal investigation but they're so bold, they continue to do it. Ganim told Fox 61 he's turning his focus to November. I'll be out, which I enjoy doing, walking, knocking on doors, uh, at a public events, talking to people, staying connected in the neighborhoods. But not before lobbying his own claim that someone aligned with the Gomes campaign was involved in unauthorized activity. It appears that she's in unauthorized in a voter's, in a voter's apartment. A senior, who I'm told, uh, may have a handicap or, or dementia, going in there rummaging, apparently looking for something. Gomes told me he hasn't decided yet if he will file a lawsuit. I did speak today with the Secretary of the State's office. A spokesperson there told me no vote count is official until it is certified by the city clerk. We will report it when it happens. Reporting in Bridgeport, Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.